So the most important thing for you to remember is the number one rule with anger, and that is you cannot hurt yourself with it, and you cannot hurt someone else when you're expressing it, okay? And that includes your children, your friends, your business partners, your relationship partners, or even the bank teller. So we need a way to get it out. So that's what I want to According to the Cleveland Clinic, when your body senses danger, you release a hormone called epinephrine. This makes your heart beat faster and the body ready for action. Now this is great in the case of uh, when a woman may be attacked by a man and she needs that power to run away and save herself or to get out of the situation. But when it comes to your children or your kids or someone that you love, not such a great emotion. So how do we get the epinephrine out of your body in a safe and effective way? Because regardless, anytime you go back and you think about something that makes you angry, this chemical comes up again. So what we want to do is give you a tool to work the anger out of your system so that you keep taking away the layers, getting to the underlying layers of pain and fear so that then you can address the true underlying cause and be free from anger or when you do have it, be able to control it and express yourself in a very positive way. Okay, so let's start with the number one exercise. So what I want you to do is you need a blank wall, okay? The importance of a blank wall is so you can't hurt yourself. So for instance, if there was a picture that's been on that wall, take it down, okay? Because the number one rule in expressing your anger is you cannot hurt yourself and you cannot hurt anyone else. So we're gonna teach you a safe way to do that. So what you wanna do with the wall is put your hands up against the wall, palms flat, back your body up, so that you're pushing back here with your feet, okay? And the goal is, when you get angry, understand that because your heart rate comes up and your blood rate comes up, what I'm wanting to teach you to do is to get that blood flow going before you get angry. Because then you know what it feels like and you have a sense of control over that emotion and over how you're feeling. And it gives you a safe way to relate, release your anger. So what you do is begin by pushing against the wall with all your strength. Okay, you just keep pushing and pushing. You can move both your feet back. I like moving them back and forth and doing this because that also gets this lower part of your body moving because this is where a lot of anger gets locked up in the body, it's around the hips. So you want to be moving this part of your body. Now as you do that, you see how I'm not moving very much but my breathing is getting kind of tight? Okay, that's because my heartbeat is coming up. I'm working, working really hard. Once you get that up, now what I want you to do is think of something that makes you mad. Okay? When you think of something that makes you mad, your blood's gonna start flowing even further. Okay, now that you're angry, now here's what you do. You can either work your feet, move your body, okay? This is gonna keep releasing that anger out of the body. If you're a, a type A personality, this might not be enough. You might need something stronger, okay? You can holler, which I'm not gonna do right now, okay? You can even, if you have a punching bag, or if you're somebody who likes to punch, you can just punch into the air. You see how my arms are moving? This is not a gentle punch. It's mush pushing those muscles to get that energy to move out. Little kids, when they get angry, what do they do? They stomp. You can stomp. You can holler. You can yell into a pillow. House is empty, you can yell all by yourself. Anything to help get that emotion moving out of the body. Now the point in continuing to do this is you want to do it until you're tired. You're exhausted. What happens is you keep doing this and keep doing this, your resistance gets lower and lower because those chemicals keep releasing out of your body. What happens is you're probably going to get to the point of tears. And that's a good thing. That's what we're looking for. Because remember, I said anger is a secondary emotion. And if we can get to the fact that you're scared or you're hurting, then we're making real progress. Then we can really change your life. Okay? So this is a tool. You want to release it, release it, and release it. Remember, you can't punch the wall and hurt yourself. You can't hurt anyone else. Use this space to help move that out of your body. You can play tennis. You can shoot a basketball. You can run. You can swing a bat. You can twist a washcloth. All kinds of things you can do. And even in the case if I'm standing talking to someone and they're making me mad, I can stand right here and do this and at least allow the chemicals to move out of my body without directing them at anybody else. So in any situation, I have a skill that I have learned that helps move that emotion out of my body. I hope this helps you and I look forward to showing you my next video which will show you the layers of what you do when you get to that pain.